Before we start our tutorial video today, if you love our videos please click on like button and make sure to click on subscribe and bell icon. To receive notifications of future helpful content of automation and process control. Now let's get started. Understanding Steam Boiler Drums Steam boilers use heat and pressure to turn water into steam, which is then transported through pipes to the equipment that is being heated. To conserve water and energy, steam boilers are often used in a series with incrementally increased pressures and temperatures at each stage. The conditions inside steam boilers are extremely hot and highly pressurized to create saturated steam. Simply specifying a BPVC approved level measurement sensor without fully understanding the instrument's operating principle will lead to less than optimal control at best and unsafe operation at worst. As water vaporizes and changes from steam to saturated steam, its density changes, which leads to challenges for level measurement technologies like differential pressure, which rely on a constant density to provide an accurate measurement. Additionally, level measurement technologies like guided wave radar experience slower pulse velocities moving through saturated steam, which can also lead to errors and unreliable measurements. The challenge is finding a solution that works using the available technology. Differential pressure transmitters, the old standard. Differential pressure transmitters use a dual-sided diaphragm that senses pressure from the bottom of the vessel on one side and from the top of the vessel on the other. These opposing pressure measurements push on opposite sides of the dual-sided diaphragm, and the resultant measurement is the pressure difference, or differential pressure. The differential pressure measurement can then be used to calculate a level using the hydrostatic pressure formula, which consists of three variables, pressure, density, and height. The sensor measures pressure, density is input as a constant by the customer, and the height is the level. Accurate level measurements using differential pressure are dependent on a consistent density. However, when it comes to steam boilers, a consistent density is rarely the case. During startup and shutdown, the airspace in the vessel undergoes a significant density change as temperatures rise to upwards of 600 degrees Fahrenheit, pressures reach 1,500 psi, and steam becomes saturated steam. As the airspace goes from containing steam to saturated steam, its density can change by as much as 50%. This drastic change then translates to a level measurement error by nearly the same amount, assuming the differential pressure sensor is calibrated while the process isn't running. Differential pressure sensors have been around a long time, and the measurement is a versatile, widely used technology for all types of applications, including many steam boiler applications around the world. However, many operations only run their steam boiler at a fraction of their full capacity because of the potential inaccuracies associated with the level measurement. With a different technology providing a better level measurement, steam boilers can operate more efficiently and more safely. Guided Wave Radar, Improvements in an Evolving Technology As we discussed earlier, guided wave radar repeatedly sends low-amplitude, high-frequency microwave pulses at the speed of light along a probe, and the device calculates distance by measuring the time it takes for the pulse to reach the surface of the fluid and return. So time-of-flight level formula will be as the following. As long as the speed of light remains a constant, measurements with guided wave radar are only influenced by the dielectric constant, or reflective properties, of the fluid the sensor is measuring. Fluids with a higher dielectric constant will return a stronger signal to the sensor electronics while fluids with lower dielectric constants become more difficult to measure. Under ambient conditions, water has a relatively high dielectric constant, so guided wave radar can easily measure level. As water temperature and pressures are raised inside a boiler, water's dielectric constant drops by as much as 75%, but this significant drop has little to no effect on the return signal and the resultant measurement output. If the only activities inside a boiler were rising temperatures and pressures, a guided wave radar capable of withstanding those conditions would be the ideal technology for steam boilers. However, as water inside the boiler is heated and pressurized, the airspace within is replaced with saturated steam, and saturated steam has different properties than the air it's replacing. Fortunately, instrumentation manufacturers like Vega and Rosemount have made significant advancements in guided wave radar technology to overcome errors like these and maximize level measurement accuracy inside steam boilers.
With process design conditions exceeding 2,300 psi and 650 degrees Fahrenheit, the Rosemount 5300 with DVC provided fully compensated level measurements, independent of pressure and temperature, resulting in accurate and reliable level readings during all startup and shutdown conditions, regardless of the weather. When high-pressure saturated steam is added, here you can see that both the reflected pulse and the surface pulse have been displaced due to the slower travel speed of the microwave pulses in the presence of steam. Because the transmitter knows exactly where the reflector is the distance the reflector pulse has been displaced, can be used to calculate how much compensation is needed, it then determines the correct distance to the surface pulse and outputs the correct level. The final result is a reliable and safe level measurement for all your boiler's high-pressure feed water heaters and steam separators. In the Rosemount 5300 series GWR, dynamic vapor compensation is used to compensate vapor space dielectric in steamy applications. This becomes more important for high-pressure applications which may have more variations in the operating conditions or where the users want to be able to verify the unit under near-ambient conditions, such as during startup and shutdown, without having to modify the vapor dielectric settings. The compensation occurs in the transmitter electronics and a corrected level measurement is provided to the control system. No additional compensation is required. Finally. Accurate level measurements and steam boiler safety go hand in hand. Choosing a level measurement technology that can provide reliability and accuracy during each step of a boiler's operation is of the utmost importance. Understanding a measurement technology's operating principle is the first step in making a well-informed decision. You may also will be interested with the following tutorials videos, so I left the link of each one in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.